Hi, this is Rich. I'm trying to, trying to get enough light here so you can see me. I'm going to be changing the camera out on a 2013 Ford Taurus, but it should work through, uh, I think it's 2019 Ford Taurus. Let me show you what I have. It's not too clear, but when I re put it in reverse, you can see it's really blurred. Now the waves, you see some waves, that's from my video camera. It's making waves for some reason. It's not synchronizing with the camera itself. So, but you can see it's blurry. So that's the main thing. So we're, let's, let's get out and let's try to figure out how to get to the camera. Thanks so much for watching. As most of you probably know, the camera's right below the emblem here. Right there. I'm wondering if I can clean the shield or the plastic thing that maybe the camera snaps onto. Or maybe this is the whole camera itself. I don't know. But if I can pull that shield off and clean in between it, I'm wondering if that might make a difference. Let's open this trunk. Okay, I'm going to have to pop these off. I'm going to have to pop this off. This off. This off. I got some of these at Harbor Freight. It was pretty cheap. You can find probably some metal ones if you want, which probably be a little cheap, more expensive. But I got these so I could uh, just do stuff like that, pull these out. And they're almost like screws. They just push in. So to get to it are easier, I had to take some more of these uh, plugs or whatever off so I could get down here and look. And what it has is an, a little Allen wrench. Or not Allen wrench, it has an Allen. And I don't know what size it is, but uh, this seems to be fitting really well. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, I got the screw out right here. I'm getting ready to pull this bracket off that the screw was held onto. It sort of goes in at the top. It sort of goes in and then it's pull it around. Okay, now I think I can get the camera released. It's hanging down here. Well, I tried to loosen this sort of gray thing with pliers and it just wouldn't budge. It's glued in there something. I just couldn't get it out. It looks like there's scratches on the inside. I don't know if that's what made it blurry. Just a few little scratches. So now I'm going to go and look at Ford parts. I called my dealer. He said the backup camera would cost $475. Napa has it for $302. Uh, AutoZone has it for $314. Advanced has it for $314. Advanced Auto Parts have it for $314. And Amazon, well, look at this. It's, it's amazing. I try to look at the you know, this one one person sold it and makes you wonder if it's the same or not. And here's uh, 54, 56, 50. Uh, this looks like it. This sort of has a different picture, but it may look like it. Look, it's looking the other way. I wish it was a little close up. The 68 uh, right here has the best reviews, looks like 134. This has 50. This has good good reviews, and it looks like it as well. But it's $125. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this guy right here. Four Tarses, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17 through 19. So 
I think this I think this might be the one. Um shows you the four Taurus, the camera, and all this. It's an OEM number. Let's see here. One nine G four nine zero A is my part number on my camera. So I guess this would probably be close to it. So I think this is, sounds like a good deal. So I'm just gonna loosen this up. Take the screw out. Easy peasy. Then see this sort of sets in there and it just sort of hooks in there. So I'm gonna put that. Okay. So it has sort of this pull thing on here, right here. You just push on it. Just push right here and you just pull. Just like that. Then you have a little notch. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little notch that it sort of clips onto right in there. And you just push it on. Push that thing up. Okay, if you notice, this is where you plush uh, squash to pull the camera off. It's faced that way. Or if you're looking at your steering wheel from the back, it's toward the driver's side. And you just push this up here and you can just feel you can just feel it go right where it's supposed to go. Then you take this little holder-like thing and it just goes right up in there. And then you, you, you just sort of screw it in. It has to be lined just right for everything to fit. I mean, it, the camera will fit upside down, all sorts of things. But I'll try to find what it's probably not the right type of Allen wrench, but I'll try to find what Allen wrench it is. And there it is. Now let's go look at the camera on the car. I guess I'd need to tighten this down more. There. All right, just started my car. I'm gonna put it in reverse. It's between night and day. You can even see the cracks where I couldn't even see the cracks. So much clearer. Isn't that great? Really easy.